James Paxton look a lot more like his old self to you this afternoon? Yeah, but it, again, you know, I felt like even last time I, I, I thought he's real close to what we saw today. And even today, um, you know, I think he gets deeper in that game. A lot of innings where, you know, they a couple soft contacts that extended innings, which causes pitch count to go up. Otherwise, I think he gets really deep in that game. But, um, yeah, really good. Uh, Again, mixed his mixed his pitch as well. Um, thought he got a little bit even stronger as the game unfolded, uh, but a big effort by him for us. Do you feel like his breaking stuff was particularly good this afternoon? I did. Um, um, I, I thought he threw a lot of finished a lot of sliders, especially to righties. You know, and when you can do that off the fastball, that's a that's that's a big time weapon for him. Um, you know, Abreu got him on the curveball early, but but uh, other than that, I thought he was really good. Austin Romine has not been what he was last year offensively, not getting a ton of consistent playing time. To see him go out there and have the afternoon like he had, is that a big boost for him? Yeah, yeah. You know, we're all pulling for him in, in that regard because you know he's been grinding hard at it. Um, you know, the one thing he's got, he's come up with some big hits this year for us and some big spots, um, driven in some big runs for us, and today... Uh, a couple of big time at bats to to extend leads and 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 be able to allow us to add on and then I thought he was really good behind the plate so happy for Road today and his all around effort. Part of the gig being the backup catcher, but just how difficult is it to stay in rhythm at the plate? Yeah, no question. Um, you know, and, and but he, he, you know, it's something that he's had to deal with, you know, most of his career and and. He understands that's part of it, and so he works really hard at it, and, and for him to get some results today is really nice. Do you like the contributions from Maven and Gardner as well? Yeah, Gardy's, Gardy's been playing well. Cameron showing off the, the, the center field power um, the last last couple of runs out there, but, you know, he, he's been a really good player for it. But Gardy, uh, big hit to get us going, and, th and then to be able to add on with a hit. I think he got a walk too, so um, it's good to see him playing well. Six innings feels significant. Just seems like we've asked you for each of the last ten days or so about your starters not giving you any length. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, because that's the best way, especially when you're in these stretches where you're playing a lot of games in a row. Um, you know, any any it all matters, and any chance you can get to get guys deeper in the game and preserve. Uh, you know, guys in the pen, uh, that's big. So so we'll take uh, a good, strong six-inning effort. A move or something there? It took you a little longer than usual to get out here. Was yeah. Uh, yeah, we, we optioned Clint Frazier after the game uh, with the idea that Edwin will be uh, active tomorrow. Is that difficult to speak to him about considering how well he's hit pretty much offensively? Very. Yeah, um, you know he's he's played a big role in on a winning team, and and that and that doesn't necessarily stop now. But um, you know this is this is where we're at from a roster situation. So um, yeah, so so obviously tough news to deliver. But you know hopefully he can make the most of it and continue to get better at his craft and know that you know he's going to play a role for us again. And with consistent playing time, part of that. Yeah, I mean that's part of it. You know, we, uh, obviously, obviously with a guy like Clint, we want him playing all the time because um, he's got a chance to be a great player in this league, and he's already shown that. Uh, you know, his potential up here, uh, certainly this year.